friends, this is Miss Rachel with the Otago Prattville Public Library and today we are doing squishy circuits. We're doing an insect STEM activity with Play-Doh and with um, Model Magic Doh and some batteries and an LED to learn all about circuitry. So we're going to start by opening up our kit. Inside of each kit you should have some Play-Doh that's going to be any color. Some Model Magic Doe, which is white. A battery pack with two wires, a red wire for the positive side and a black wire for the negative side. And taped to your battery pack, you have an LED light. And this is going to um, just keep it secure until we're ready to use it. And then we also have two double A batteries that are 1.5 volts. So we're going to install these batteries towards the end um, and together the 1.5 volt batteries in the battery pack will make three volts of electricity. Um, we're going to learn about conductors and insulators today. So this Play-Doh because of the salt in it is a conductor whereas this Model Magic though is an insulator. So the Model Magic is going to stop the electricity from running through or make it very difficult for the electricity to run through. Whereas the conductive material, the Play-Doh with the salt, makes it easier for the electricity to run through. However, even conductors like Play-Doh have some resistance. So resistance is how much insulation is in there that's slowing the electricity down or making it more difficult. Now because this little LED is actually kind of a big LED, he takes a little bit more voltage to activate than some other LEDs, than the itty bitty ones you might find more normally. So you'll notice it might have a little trouble lighting up when just connected to the Play-Doh. However, if we connect it directly to the ends of the wires, it will light up. Now, in the instructions I give you, you'll notice it says not to connect the wires directly to the nodes of the LED. And that's for if you're using the smaller LEDs or if you're using a higher voltage battery. So, for example, I will also show you how to do this with a 9 volt battery and with alligator. But let's start with our regular kit. We're going to begin by making our insect and I'm going to make a moth with my Play-Doh. So I'm going to make some big mothy wings. And put them near each other but not quite touching. So we've got the top wings and then I'm going to make little bottom wings as well. Once again, I'm putting them right next to each other, but with some room in between so that they don't touch. If the Play-Doh is touching itself on both sides, once you've got the battery pack connected, the electricity will be able to flow through the Play-Doh directly without jumping through the LED and that creates a short circuit because the electricity takes the shorter path through the Play-Doh and it makes the circuit short. That's why it's called a short circuit. So that explains why your LED will not light up once you have everything connected if your Play-Doh is all touching each other. So to keep it from touching but to still have our moth be one nice cohesive piece, we're going to use our insulating dough this model magic. This does not have as many electrolytes um, like salt as the Play-Doh did. And so it makes a very good insulator. You can also use paper or wood. There's lots of options. You can experiment around in your house to see what is an insulator. So I've got my model magic in there. Between my Play-Doh, I've got my moth all decorated and ready to go with my Play-Doh. Feeling good about that. Now, we're going to install our batteries. Make sure you install them 
properly, which means the side of the battery pack that you see the minus on, you're going to put the flat side of the battery in and then pop it in and then do the opposite on the other side so that it matches up. Now, once these are popped in, this particular battery pack we have does not have an on and off switch. So you're going to want to be very careful handling the wires because they are um, moving electricity through, through those batteries. So we're going to put the positive node, the red node of the wire, in to the Play-Doh because again, that's the conductive part. We want it to be able to move electricity. We're going to put the negative node into the other side of Play-Doh that's not touching the Play-Doh that's touching the red wire. And then with our LED to make this light up, we're going to take the positive node of the LED, which is just ever so slightly longer than the negative one. We're going to bend it out just a little bit. Be very gentle when you bend the nodes of the LED because they can break off. And we're going to take the longer one, the positive one, and stick it right next to the red wire and take the shorter one the negative one and put it right next to the black wire. And if you can see, let's see, I'm going to adjust just a little bit. Our LED should be lighting up and mine is green. That's pretty fun. So it's not lighting up super brightly. And again, that's because the resistance there's resistance provided by the LED itself. There's resistance provided by the Play-Doh that's there. And then there's a relatively low voltage of the three volts of energy that's coming through the battery pack. So those three factors together are making it light up dimly or not a whole lot unless the wires are directly touching the nodes of the LED. But we still have a cool light up moth, which is pretty neat. Um, you can play around with short circuiting it. So you want to, when you do experiments like this, be careful when you create a short circuit because it can overheat the batteries. Always be sure to read the entire directions that are provided with activities like this. But what I'll do to create a short circuit in this one is I'll just take a piece of my Play-Doh and let it touch both of the sides of the LED. And it jumps straight through the Play-Doh instead of through the LED, turning the light off. It is when we take that away and the LED and the electricity is running through the LED to take the shortest path that our LED shines nice and bright. So that is squishy circuits. Let me show you the alternative way if you have a nine volt battery and alligator clips and you'll see this concept in action even more. Okay, so to do this activity with the nine volt battery, you're going to want to use more caution to be sure not to short circuit so we don't overheat the battery or cause the LED to break apart. And we're going to use alligator clips for this one. So I'm going to take a red alligator clip and use this on my positive node. And again, I've got my longer end of my LED on this side. So I'm going to attach one clip in with this nice positive side of my moth and then this is going to go on the positive side of the battery which is this side with a little plus on the side but before I plug it in I'm also going to put my gray alligator clip on my negative side which was the shorter node of the LED and we're going to take him and put him on the negative side of the battery. So when I attach these clips to the battery, our LED should light up even though the alligator clips are not touching the actual LED nodes. 
and that's because the there's more voltage in the battery so more energy is able to go and conduct through the play-doh let's see one two three go whoops there we go we got it lit up and glowing beautifully so as you can see we've got our led lit up we've got our negative connected to negative and our positive connected to positive and the energy is flowing through the play-doh through the electrolytes in there and because of this insulating um, element to keep the positive and the negative from touching each other and to keep the energy from short circuiting we get a beautiful green light up effect except for when i accidentally knock my little alligator clip off. so there you have it Thank you guys so much for watching me create a squishy stem light up insect. I hope you all enjoyed this activity and we'll see you next time. For more resources on electricity, look at our bibliography or go to www.appl.info and see what books we've got on the topic. Have a great day. Bye.